Hey friends, it's Jessie. Today I'm gonna to share with you my top 10 picks for office that are designer. So let's get to it. First up, I have Tori Birch. This is Jolie Fleur Vert. This is a really nice green, just fresh, clean floral scent. This is a beautiful fragrance. These, she has like one that has orange on it and maybe a blue one, but this one you can tell I put a significant dent in because I wear this to the office myself. And I also like to wear this to the gym. I just feel like it's such a fresh, clean, but still floral fragrance. It's kind of green, stemmy fragrance. It almost, never thought about this, it almost reminds me a little bit in the same direction as Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This is a really beautiful fragrance and very appropriate for the office. This is not offensive. This is crowd pleasing. This is a nice, delicate, feminine fragrance for the office. This is Giorgio Armani's Aqua de Gioia. This is the female version of the Aqua de Gio that came out years ago that is still so good. This is the female version of that. This is a really nice, fresh, clean scent, perfect for daytime and for the office. I will say that this can be pretty loud projecting, so I would probably say no more than two to three sprays for the office. Don't go heavy handed on this one or you will blow your coworkers away. This lasts all day long, probably into the night. This is a good eight plus hour wear for me. This is a good value because it's designer, it's fresh and clean, but it's still got some uniqueness to it. This is a favorite of mine for the office. My number nine pick for the office is one that is a little bit more fruity. This is Burberry for her Intense. I bought the smaller bottle of this this is the one fluid ounce and i'm glad i did i can pop this in my purse the sillage on this is great but the longevity this is not going to take you all the way through the whole work day plus dinner you'll have to respray so it's easy to just stick it in your purse reapply it like you would your lipstick this is a very nice fruity fragrance it's more gourmand. Um, this does have some Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes. I don't really see it as a good dupe for that, but it is a nice fragrance, a clean fragrance and a feminine fragrance for the office. This is Burberry for her Intense by Burberry. Next up, this is one of my, if not my most unique bottle. I discovered this fragrance years ago. I think Candy Johnson said that she wore it or maybe she had it on our channel or something. Anyway, it's the cutest bottle. This is Fresh Couture by Moschino. Moschino? I don't know. This is a really fresh, clean scent. This also is just a great wear for the office. If you're wanting to be non-offensive, smell fresh and clean, it's called Fresh Couture. This lasts and lasts and lasts. I would say I probably get a good six hours out of this. The bottle is just so fun. And every time I pull it out, everybody's like, what on earth? And I'm like, it's a perfume. This is unisex. This is not too feminine leaning. This is definitely a man or a woman could pull this off. But I definitely see in an office, this would be great for a nurse or a dental hygienist or someone that's in a really clean environment. And it's not over the top with the sillage, so it's not going to overwhelm your patients or your clients. It's just a really great office wear fragrance. This is Fresh Couture. Next up, I have one of my favorite fragrances of like the last 10 years. You can tell I had the huge bottle. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of this. This is Pure Grace by Philosophy. Philosophy has amazing grace. They have so many different fragrances. This is my personal favorite of the whole collection. And this is so nice. This is a beautiful clean scent. Leans a little more floral sweet, but this is non-offensive, crowd-pleasing. I have the body wash, everything that there is. I think there's a shampoo and conditioner in this fragrance. It is a nice, fresh, clean scent, but probably more warm, creamy, 
vanilla than the other fragrances that I've mentioned so far. So if you want something that's fresh and clean but still maybe a little bit warmer, creamier, this is a great choice and again i have gone through so many bottles of this for a while my mom would buy me a bottle every year for christmas because she knew by the end of the year i'm out again so this is a great office fragrance this will not last you i would say to throw this in your bag and reapply at lunch because it is a beautiful fragrance everyone is going to want to smell you at the office in pure grace by philosophy now we're getting to my top five. My number five spot is K. Ollie Deja Vu White Flower 57. I have always have to look because each one of the K. Ollie's, I'm not really sure what it means, but they all have a number at the end of them. This is a beautiful white floral. It's very clean, it's very fresh. If you have a friend who likes white florals, this is definitely a safe blind buy. I get a good six hours out of this. This is great for the office environment. I would wear this on a date. I would wear this to brunch. I would wear this to a lot of places, but I feel like it's most appropriate for the office. It's just a fresh, clean, floral, really nice. This is a really nice white floral, and I really appreciate the packaging too. It's just so cute. I love the top. Next up is a more recent purchase of mine. I've recently done a full review on this. This is Valentino's Voce Viva. This is a stunning, really cool packaging. This is a really nice, very interesting, very non-offensive, dries down to just a real creamy vanilla. This is so good. But it's so interesting how it develops. You can definitely go heavy with this. I do because I really like it. The packaging is beautiful. The fragrance is beautiful. This is a great scent for the office. I bought the one fluid ounce. I will stick this in my bag and reapply it. I would say this lasts a good four to five hours and then becomes a skin scent. So I'll stick it in my bag, take it with me, reapply, no big deal, but it is a really nice warm vanilla. This is perfect vanilla for fall too. I feel like it's just got just enough, some spiciness, warm, creamy vanilla that it's nice for fall, but it's really nice for the office. My number three spot is Dolce & Gabbana, The Only One Intense. I've done a versus on this versus the original because I really feel like they are very different fragrances. You can check that out in the description box below. This is The Only One Intense. It is in a black bottle while the original is in a clear bottle with pink liquid. This is a really, really, really pretty fragrance. And while it is marketed, I think, just towards women, I feel like this is totally unisex. I can definitely see a man wearing this with a suit to the office. This is gorgeous. It has some coconut in it, which makes it fun. I love that it's in a black bottle. I feel like that makes it more elegant, makes it more elevated. It is a year-round fragrance. I really enjoyed wearing this in the spring and summer this year but this is a great fragrance for the office. If you wear this, people will notice you, but not in a, wow, you have on too much perfume. This is just a beautifully blended designer fragrance by Dolce & Gabbana. This is the only one intense. Next up in my number two spot, I could not do this list without having a Chanel. Let's be honest. This is Gabrielle Chanel, and it is a beautiful, I feel like a lot of Chanel's can be more mature leaning and I feel like this is definitely just 18, 19, 20. Anybody can wear this. This is a more sophisticated fragrance. It is one that I like to wear to church sometimes. I wear it to the office. It is a really beautiful, almost iconic fragrance. It has that Chanel DNA. When I smell this on someone, I can almost always pinpoint that it's a Chanel. It is so pretty. It is so long lasting. It lasts on my skin probably seven to eight hours. It's non-offensive. You can go a little heavy handed on this. I do. Um, I would say three to four sprays for the office, but this is a very nice feminine fragrance for the office that is stunning, just stunning. And my number one favorite office fragrance is Tom Ford white suede. What else would I choose? This is 
As far as designer fragrances go, this is so fresh, so clean. It has a little bit of a suede, maybe a light leather note to it, but it is beautiful. I could wear this every single day. This could be my signature scent, but if you are working in an office, you need to get your nose on Tom Ford's white suede. That's why I bought the big bottle. I just wasn't living with the small one. This is a beautiful fragrance. It is non-offensive. I would probably say three to four sprays. Um, I go more like five to six sprays, but I am in love with this fragrance. It is gorgeous for the office, really anything daytime. And I've also worn this on dates before too. But as far as wearing this to the office goes, this is a unisex fragrance. So men or women can wear this to the office. I can see wearing black pants and a white collared shirt. I can see wearing a suit or a dress. You could dress it up. You can dress it down. This is just a very versatile fragrance, but I feel like it is most appropriate for the office. This is Tom Ford White Suede. These are my favorite designer fragrances. So designers will design shoes, handbags, and also fragrances. This does put these at a more affordable price point. I would say most of these designer fragrances are between $40 honestly for a philosophy fragrance and maybe 120 ish on the high end depends on what size bottle you get of these things but the designer fragrances are still wonderful fragrances I know some of us are more into niche fragrances niche brands these are some of my favorite designer brands for the office I've also filmed an office video on niche fragrance brands that you can see linked in the description box below what are your favorite fragrances for the office? Drop me a comment below and let me know if you have any of these, if you're wanting to get your nose on these, what fragrance you like to wear to wherever you work. I know we all work in different situations. Some of us are at home, some of us are at school, some of us are doing different things. So what's your favorite daytime work fragrance? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that little notification bell to be notified of all future videos. Smell you later.